Good evening Celtic fans and tonight's one Celtic fans view Celtic FC news update we have news on Cameron Carter Vickers and it's been suggested that the price has tripled to beyond £6 million for the defender that's on loan from Spurs. We talk about Tommy McIntyre's team today, we talk about the fact that Dumbelli scores a double, Mikey Johnson scores in the, the 5-0 Glasgow Cup thrashing. You know, the, the fringe duo made a huge impression during the Colts side this afternoon, but also with January signing Johnny Kenny getting on the score sheet, the Saigo player. So, in other news, Rangers have basically come out and said that they're getting paid the same amount of money as Celtic, but the breaking news from Scott Brown is Scott Brown looks to be offered a quick fire return with Leicester as a coaching chance. The Leicester City gaffer and rat, as we call him, has been offered has offered the former Celtic captain a coaching role. He's invited him down in the Midlands to basically work with the club for a couple of weeks. So Scott Brown has been offered a quick fire return back into football by former Celtic boss Brendan Rodgers. Rodgers rejuvenated Brown's career at Parkhead when he took over the hoops in 2016. Many were writing off the ex-Scotland captain Scott Brown at the time. Many people were saying that Scott Brown's legs were done and not only were they not done, he went on to have a fabulous couple of seasons for Celtic and we all know what happened under the Rodgers era and up until he left. So following the 36-year-old's departure, uh, Robert uh, Rodgers has given basically his old lieutenant an opportunity to join him in Leicester. The Foxes boss has been in contact with the former Celtic captain since he took the decision to hang up his boots earlier this week. It's my understanding that he was told he was going to be on the bench for the Rangers game and he basically turned it around to the good one and he says, I'm never on the bench for nobody against them and I think that's where the fell out happened. And then it was decided to just call it a day. He was never going to work under Goodwin. I don't think there was any bad blood, you know, spilt. There was no love lost anyway, put it that way. Brown would give a much needed insight into top level management if he went down to the Midlands and worked with Brendan Rodgers and you know it would be a, for me personally I think it would probably be a good idea for him to get out of Scotland and go down and you know work in the Premier League he's never worked in the Premier League down in South in England and the fact to just to see these players up close and to get working with Brendan again you know Brendan was good for him in his career what do you think Celtic fans do you think that he should come back to Celtic or should he go down south and work with Brendan Rodgers again? It's a manager that he really liked working with. I know, so it's one of those things. Does he stay up here for his family? Or does he go down there for a couple of weeks just to see what it's like? And you never know where it goes from there. Anyway, to Kyogo Furiashi, there's been breaking news this afternoon that Kyogo could be back by the beginning of April. That would bring him back just in time for the Rangers game. Mark Goody this afternoon said on... Go Radio that he believed that the Celtic player will be a vital component coming back just before the Sevco game. So that's one thing that he did say. He said he's not sure about Julian. What is the story with Julian? You know, he was meant to be back. What has happened with him? The one thing about Celtic this season is they've been very, very quiet. Oh, and this is probably a thing that... that um, the manager of Postacoglu has put in place, the Celtic manager has probably put this in place, and it's like he doesn't like talking about the injured players, he doesn't give too much information away. It could be the fact that he could do to Kyogo what he did for the Hibs game for the cup final back in December. You know, it's just keep him under wraps and then bring him back for that game. And his impact, as we all know, was amazing that day. So, with Kyogo coming back for the Rangers game, with Scott Brown going down to Leicester, it could be. With Rangers saying that they're getting paid the same money as Celtic, it's been quite a day of Scottish football. And with the young guns on fire, it's all good for Celtic. Debate it out in the comments. Where do you think Scott Brown should go? And I shall see you on the next video. Let roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the party.